सब्सक्राइब करें डीजी विद्या चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट एजुकेशनल वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल डीजी विद्या टुडे वी लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट ए सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट layout designing using adobe in designing this is basically for dual purpose you can print this design and you can also post in in social media so here i create a new document my document size is 80 820 into 312 pixels and my unit is inches margin 20 pixel and my bleed and slope area is 00, 00. then i want to create a new page i want to make this design for print media and web media i change the color into red basically i need a gradient color for gradient color i apply gradient here and go to here select the slider and change the color into dark red and select white slider and change it into red and change the angle into minus 90 degree to so minus 90 degree so here i just lock this go to object and lock this then i want to make some elips and color is white outline none i mean stroke none then go to selection tool and i just create move now i select all the circles and go to adjustment effects and there is a transparency because i need, uh, I need a blending modes so i change this to overlay and opacity 27 want to see this how it looks like basically so look this is how it looks i make a, a rectangle i also want to fill a gradient color minus 90 angle is and i just copy this pressing alt key I select both of them and right click group them and after grouping I have a tool is called direct selection tool I select all the anchor points and drag it and select all the anchor points right then I select frame tool rectangular frame tool and make a frame here and go to file and place an image right click arrange and send it to back I mean this frame then select and then right right click on the frame and go to fitting fill frame proportionately then i want to put some social media icon here so i go to file and i want to place some social media icons and it is facebook instagram youtube right now name of the restaurant i want to write change the color into white stroke is none I just write down KP. I change the font into Futura. Then I increase the size. Then I just go to Type Tool and create outline. I mean convert to shape. Then I select the white one and the KP one and align this both to center. So here I select the KP and go to Part Finder and add them. And select KP and the white one and subtract them. So here is my logo. then i make a ellipse and it white color ellipse then i make a text box and change the font into futura and just increase the font type create outline and change the color into white then i select the logo and press control g for group them so my logo is here then i make a text box and change font into futura and increase the font size and change the font color into white color then here i change the font into roboto thin and increase the size and change the color to yellow i change the font into future and decrease the size and change the color text color into white color then i make another text box and increase the font I change the font face into future and increase the percent and size and change the font color into white basically so here here is my design then I make a, a rectangle here and change the stroke color here is my design then I make a rectangle fill with a gradient color 
and go to gradient change the angle into minus 90 degree and I want to make this uh, rectangle into rounded rectangle so I go for a round rectangle here so I make a, make a round rectangle here then I select text tool increase the font size and change the font color into white yes red is nice and uh, I make a small text box this is kaofio.com and change the font size into a real narrow and change the font color into white so here is my layout designing for social media and print media and I make this banner for in Adobe InDesign so friends if you like our design so please like and subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching